where Jo is. She's um, not well, so she dropped back. I've been running for 20 years. Whether I was aware of it or not, that was a coping mechanism. <laughs> I can really push myself and that energy that you get, the emotions that you can't let go when you're dealing with this stuff, anger being one of them, that people could treat other people as cruelly as some of these institutions have treated people. You want salt to without drawing it some water? I was feeling some pressure because suddenly I was not just a journalist and I was having to deal with a lot of extremely emotionally charged situations unexpectedly. There was one day where I found myself really, really getting upset and yelling at uh, another work colleague over a completely unrelated incident. And that's when I knew that it was really having an impact on me. Last time we were talking about holding boundaries because there was so much demand on you and so many different people wanting things from you now. Yeah. Joanne's very focused, very methodical, very systematic, very strategic. She's a problem solver. There's a problem, there's a solution. So when she gets stressed out, she comes and talks about it. If I wasn't able to establish those boundaries, um, I could very easily sort of dive in with people and, and crash and burn, and then mm. you're no good to anybody. One of the things we very much looked at is setting clear boundaries. And for example, to feel okay with saying no to people, because that is very difficult when people need you or they project their, you're the savior onto, onto Joanne in this case. Well, it was basically blokes I was dealing with, blokes in frocks. If I if I turned into the stereotypical angry woman, it would have been, oh, well, there you go, you know. Like so you she, she's it, hysterical. So the pressures that she was under at the time was not only that the pressures that she got from people that had been abused, also from the establishment, that she was perceived as a whistleblower. So to not get caught in between those two positions, you know, it takes really specific skills to not be too pressured by that. But it certainly is a, is a huge challenge. So you found a constructive way to yeah. deal with your anger through running and finding an outlet for that. Yes, that's why I run mountains. I've seen her stressed, not <laughs> distressed. She realises that she needs to look after herself in order to do this work. I deal with that all the time. She Any goes out running, she takes a dog for a walk, a she switches off the phones. A lot of people don't have that self-awareness and that's what her, kept her so focused and so professional without getting hooked into, in a way, if I, they say the drama of it all. She stayed in a way very attached and detached at the same time. Now that's a very special skill to have. When people have been sexually abused as children, trust goes. They trust in everybody. So I've certainly had some victims lash out at me and I get why that's happened. They're angry at the world and they have a right to be. They had to trust me and I could not betray that trust because they have been grievously betrayed as children. When they came forward to churches and institutions to report that, they in many cases were betrayed again. It literally was a life and death thing for some of them. And certainly I've had people ring up extremely distressed, sometimes suicidal. They simply sometimes want to talk something through. One I can think of in particular, he had a dog, I had a dog, and we just agreed we'd, we'd each go for a walk, him where he was and me where I was. And I just said, you know, to live is to act, and, and he got out of a chair. That was enough, and that's all he needed. One of the big problems is that people see the adults who come forward, a percentage of them with real problems with alcohol or drugs or gambling. Some of them have been jailed. And they don't see the child that those people once were. 
I, I said to quite a few people along the way, the church has failed you, but, but I represent society. And I'm saying, okay, now's the time that we sort this out. And it, it might be seen as a pressure, but it actually wasn't. It, it felt like the right thing to do.